Hello, I'm Mike Amesbury. I've served for two and a half years as the um, uh, first Labour MP for seven years for Weaver Vale. And now I'm the parliamentary candidate and please re-elect me. I've been involved with in politics since I was 17. It was around the time of the miners' strike in the, the 80s. So I've been involved as a, an activist. Um, my real job in the past ended up being a, a careers advisor. So I work with young um, unemployed um, folk as well as working in schools and colleges. This election is a once in a, in a generation opportunity to change the record. So let's move away from, we've had nearly a decade of austerity now, and, and people experience it every day in, in, in Weaver Vale, whether it's Runcorn, whether it's Northwich, whether it's Frodsham and Helsby. All the schools have been hit by draconian cuts. I mean, nearly £100 million have been taken away from Cheshire West and Chester and, and, Holton, and Holton schools. And that's absolutely disgraceful, despite, despite some of the false promises are being put forward by uh, my conservative opponents at the moment and let's change the record for all those people that are sleeping rough and the astronomical increase in homelessness let's change the record for people locally using food banks i mean that's it, it's an insult that that's a growth industry you now thousands of people i represent right across weaver vale and and I want to, again, I've stood on a, a platform last time round to put Weaver Vale first, but putting Weaver Vale first for investment rather than cuts. I mean, we've lost 21,000 police officers from our streets since the Tories and the coalition come to, come to power. 6,000 PCSOs, 600 police stations. And, and locally that equates to 152 uh, police officers taken off the streets and we've seen an increase in antisocial behaviour and crime as a result. Um, too many children living in poverty, 4.5 million people living in poverty and many living in poverty pay. I mean voting for uh, the Labour Party and re-electing uh, me again is giving people a wage rise and looking after the most vulnerable and let's have a Labour government just in time for Christmas, December the 12th. I'm from a working class background, you know, represent everyday people, all the people. I've got lots of people that might have voted for other political parties in the past. I mean, I've put all people first, but particularly those most in, most in need. That's what drew me into, in, in, into politics, to look after the, the most vulnerable, rebuild our communities, rebuild Britain and make it the the fantastic, even better country than it, than it currently is. I want people to be able to get trains on time or even fit into trains. At the moment, they're, they're overcrowded. It's disgraceful. So it should be publicly owned and publicly controlled. I want children to go to good schools accountable to the local community that are funded properly. And that's not the case at the moment. And I want to ensure that we do genuinely save the NHS. One of the proudest achievements of a, a Labour government was establishing the NHS and yet we've seen local facilities such as Holton Hospital under threat and the urgent care centre under threat of privatisation. Working together with the community, stop that. But I want to see investment into our local facilities and that's just not happening under this Tory government. What I really want to be is not an opposition Labour MP, I actually want us to be in to be in power. So it's important that people get out there and vote. It's going to be a winter election, so sign up to a postal vote the easy way. Um, and you'll have two weeks to vote if, if, if you do that. And it's easy, just go on the council website, whether it's Holton Council or Cheshire West and Chester or the Electoral Commission, and vote Labour and really make a difference for Christmas.